this is Amy with Book Goonie, and this is in my mailbox, and a little bit of Clock Rewinds. Um, sorry I'm doing this really late, but I had to finish the book I was reading um, before I could allow myself to video because I couldn't put it down. Um, so what I got in my mailbox this week was really cool. First in my mailbox, I received a package from Ashley at Bookish Brunette, which was a huge surprise. Not the package, but that I won these books. I participated in the read-along um, Pretty When She Dies uh, by Rhiannon uh, Freighter, and I just enjoyed it. And then I received an email saying, hey, you won the giveaway. And so it was um, bonus, bonus to a lot of fun we had um, on the read-along. Um, she sent uh, Teeth Vampire Tales uh, with stories from Cassandra Clare, Holly Black, Melissa Marr. I mean, that's going to be amazing to read. I can't wait. And Rochelle Mead's Bloodlines. I've heard so many awesome things about this book and the series. This is a spinoff series, I believe, of Vampire Academy. And I have Vampire Academy at home to read. So even more reason to tear through that series that I have unfortunately not read yet. So thank you. Thank you, Ashley. I'm really excited. Uh, just, I don't know. I, there's not words. Um, also, this week... Let me share with you all the physical books first, and then I'll go through the ebooks. Um, I stopped in Half Price Books, which is always a pleasure and a mistake on my behalf. So I went in just to see a few things, and I found some things I needed. Um, Dark and Hollowed Places by Carrie Ryan. This is the third in the series. I've already read it. I just didn't own it. So I had to make sure I bought it, so I'd have it on my shelf for my daughter to read or somebody to loan it to or reread. So I uh, received that one, or I picked that one up. Um, also, this Janet Ivanovich series, uh, Stephanie Plum series that everybody talks about, not so much in the bloggers that I follow, but I've seen people talking about it. I've seen soccer moms handing it off. There's like 18 now. The library, as far as electronic borrowing, only starts at like 10. So every time I go into Half Price Books, I look and see if they have number one to start with. Um, and I hadn't been able to find it for almost a year. And finally, found number one. Uh, one for the money and two for the dough. So I picked these two up to start reading this series. Like I need another series. is like a hole in my head. And also, my good friend um, Sarah the library at the library and reads... Um, said that she, where has the series been her whole life? And so uh, I picked up the first one. It is uh, Solus, um, a novel about vampires, werewolves. I don't even really know exactly. I know there's werewolves and vampires. Um, Gail Carriger. So I'm looking forward to starting this series also. On the same date, I had decided to reward myself because I couldn't not have this book. Um, luckily there was a 50% off coupon, crazily. Thank you, um, Caitlin at Caitlin Blogs had mentioned how y'all were torturing her with this 50% coupon, um, Barnes and Nobles and Friends, that was hurting her pocketbook. So I pulled it up and went to Barnes and Nobles and got Blood Rose. So I wasn't going to wait forever, but the 50% off, um, coupon helped a whole lot. And, um, and Andrea was kind to say, yes, Barnes & Nobles has the extra added um, pieces. So I picked that up the same day, too. This is all on my don't need to spend money because I'm poor, especially after Christmas. And that's about $30 worth of books right there. So um, those are the books I picked up and the books that were sent to me in my mailbox. Also, um, E, uh, I picked up Jessica's Guide to Dating on the Dark Side. This uh, by Beth Fantasky, that's like an awesome last name, um, was free, um, I think, because the sequel's coming out. And I picked this one up. One, it sounds awesome, Jessica's Guide to Dating on the Dark Side. But two, I'm going to read it for the unread readers, Why Buy the Cow, when you can get the milk free, free eating, uh, free e-reading books um, challenge for 2012. So I picked up that book. So I picked up... Uh, 
don't know if it's Geoff, Jeff, um, her botch is Stupid Fast. Super excited to get this book. This one wasn't free, but it was like $1.99 um, through Barnes and Nobles, and I think Kindle also heard super awesome things. Um, Carrie, Carrie Book Blogs, she talked about it greatly. She interviewed the, uh, the author, and so this is a book I've definitely wanted to pick up. So I really want the physical copy of the book so I can loan it to my students, but I couldn't pass up $1.99 to at least get the book in my hands. So um, I picked up that book this week. And I also got two uh, Net Galley books approved, um, Halflings by Heather Birch and The New Girl by Paige um, Harbison. So those are Net Galley books. I don't think they have the covers of the books where I would show them to you um, on my e-reader. I think they came mostly in a kind of a PDF-ish form. So uh, those those are the books that I received um, in the mail or re received a review. I'm really excited about those. The Clock Rewinders portion, uh, things that happened this week. One, I spent this week reading a handful of books. I finished Under the Never Sky by Veronica Rossi, and it is fabulous. Um, make sure that you do read it when it comes out. Um, to me, it had the feel of Graceling or Fire um, by Kristen Kishore, and you know how much I love those books. So uh, definitely was speechless. Um, I will definitely be picking up the, the sequel, I think, like in... I'm trying to think of when the sequel's coming out, but I will definitely be there for the sequel to see what happens. Um, then uh, my other book for the week was Clockwork Prince. There was just too much ramblings going on on the um, blog, blogosphere, Twitter, Goodreads, and so I had to go ahead and pick it up before the it got spoiled. Um, and I torturously read this during the week, and so... Um, I'll share with you some things to talk about uh, later, and I make sure I won't spoil anything because, I don't know, you just can't. Oh. Um, so I read that this week also, and I am almost finished with Cinder, and I will finish it today. Um, this is an awesome, awesome book, and it's an awesome audio book, so I do recommend it. It's worth your time if you need something on Audible to read. So uh, those are the books I worked on this week, and I haven't reviewed anything because I've been too busy reading. Um, around the blogosphere, we had, um, uh, John Green week. And so if you'll look back through, I had a John Green post every day, except for today. Uh, reviews or, or things that were out there. There's a giveaway, um, links to other, um, bloggers that are, have things about John Green. Um, as far as John Green week, uh, two bloggers that I really discovered and for me and really enjoyed was a reclusive bibliophile um, she rocked my socks off she had awesome John Green stuff um, actually got me to understand and know John Green even better <clears throat> um, she has a listing of all of the vlog brothers or some of the vlog brothers uh, videos so that you can look and kind of get a feel for them and also the YA bibliophile um, those are two two bloggers I know that posted at least something every day related to John Green, and I'll put the link below. Um, in that, on that note, I definitely um, watched tons of Nerdfighter slash Vlog Brothers videos, um, especially on Friday. I went back to work, um, and I needed kind of a pick me up, and they are hilarious. My child has watched them, and now she is um, spouting French llama um, as her explanate ex exclamatory statement um, so those are some fun things on the um, that I found out out there also uh, about a books is starts tomorrow so uh, you need to go to Amanda at uh, on a book bender and see all the other bloggers they'll be participating in that so those are some things out there for the week um, as far as search terms um, I had lots of search terms but they were all mostly book or and or movie related so um, nothing really bizarre popped up. So um, people looking for books that are movies, movies that are books, um, and actual legit book search terms. So those, that's, I guess that's all for me this week. So um, I look forward to seeing what you guys have out there. And may you have an awesome week next week.